This in from Pro Football Talk. Brian Flores will interview with the Chicago Bears today. He'll probably get an opportunity to interview for a couple other openings, maybe the Houston Texans. Yes, Paulie? Let's say it was Bears-Texans, hypothetically for Brian Flores. Let's say those are the two first offers on the table, and they were the only offers on the table. Bears. That's a quick answer. Yeah. It, it's just I, I don't like the ownership with the Texans. You know, David Colley was shown the door after one year. What are you building on there? I don't even know what I'm going to get for Deshaun Watson and when I can get rid of Deshaun Watson. It, it, it feels like next year is going to be like this year. You're in limbo. But the Texans announced that they would fire their head coach, David Culley. And uh, as Mike Florio pointed out, he got hired to be fired. You wanted a coach who could get you through this year. It's like a gap year. Hey, we just need to get through this year because there's a whole lot going on. You're trying to deal Deshaun Watson. You can't. Although I, I can look at David Culley and say, you won four games. That's how many the Texans won with Deshaun Watson last year. And they played hard that game against the Titans at the end of the year. But the best player still has a lot of hurdles to pass to get on the field. Management is impatient. And are you going to be able to recruit a top-tier coach? It's going to be very difficult there. You know, David Colley was not going to get another opportunity. Now, he's probably in his mid-50s. He had been a, a lifelong assistant coach, got an opportunity. Now, I got paid, got paid to go away, but I felt bad for him his chance to coach in the NFL. And you did it without a quarterback. Now, Davis Mills, I would give him another chance this next year. If you watch the Texans, Davis Mills has potential. That's not a good roster. And I thought Davis Mills at times looked really good. He looked like a starting quarterback. Now, I don't know if he doesn't have the name recognition. You know, when you're a later draft pick, you're not a first-round pick. It feels like they can move on from you easily. But I look at that team, and I don't see a lot of promise. And if I'm Brian Flores, I, I want to go into a situation where I feel a little bit more comfortable with my quarterback. Uh, and the Bears have more talent than Houston does. Yes, Eaton. Why didn't, uh, and I think you mentioned this earlier, but why didn't the Texans just have, say, like Romeo Cornell yeah. lead them through the season instead of hiring somebody just to then, they they're going to end all ultimately end up paying David Culley $22 million to coach one year. Yeah. This way, you have Romeo Cornell on staff. You just say, hey, we're going to pay you, you know, something commensurate to being a head coach. We just need you to get us through this year. So you already, you already got Romeo Cornell. He's been a head coach. All right, there you go. And then he could get you through this season. Instead of bringing in David Culley and, and making it seem like, boy, David Culley is going to be – that's the guy we wanted. He's going to be our head coach for the future. Because now not only as an organization do you seem kind of lost, but now you're also cruel. <laughs> like, what did you do that for? Yeah, yeah, Paul. Is what the Texans did this season tanking in the traditional sense? Their quarterback said he wouldn't play. They acquiesced to him, and they chose not to have him play. He, he's a healthy scratch. He's in the locker room every week. And they chose to have a subpar team on the field. I mean, their, their fans got a disservice this year. Is that tanking, or is that... Uh, is that a strategy? Well, the strategy is you didn't want Deshaun Watson to get hurt. Therefore, you can't trade him. He didn't want to play there. And it felt like it was everybody's in agreement here. Uh, the league didn't mind. I, I didn't hear anybody from the league say, uh, come on, you know, competitive balance. and You got to play that guy. Uh, it just felt like this was the best case for everybody. Keep him off the field. We don't want somebody accused of these, you know, these charges here. Let's put him, take him off the field. And the Texans are probably like, yeah, that's fine. Uh, and then if, if you're Deshaun Watson, you don't want to play for the Texans. You don't want to get hurt. You don't want to hurt your trade value. It just felt like everybody was in cahoots here, including the league. That's where the league, you would think, would go, hey, you got to put the best product out there on the field. And until he's found guilty of these charges, he should be out there playing. But then there's no charges right now. These are civil cases against him. We've been dealing with this for 10 months now. No charges. Was it mid-February that this came yeah, out? Yeah, mid to late February. Man. Remember Deshaun said he wouldn't play there, and it was yeah. all his side, and then it all went squirrely? Still no charges. Crazy. Crazy. 